morning friends I'm Tilly Douglas and I'm going to do a bloom on these little 4x4 four four tiles 4 inch by 4 inch and I've I realised tonight I, I've been doing these tiles and doing some paint pours on them and some blooms and I just realised that I hadn't actually recorded a video on the spinner for the bloom tiles I've done some tiles which you'll see um, in my previous videos but I just wanted to do some with the spinner because it makes life so much easier and I just all of a sudden realized I hadn't actually recorded a video so I'm just using house paint with this because I've got a heck of a lot of house paint that I can use up so that's why I'm using the house paint today mix my house paint with gloss mod podge and water just a little bit of water just to thin it down a wee bit and the colors I'm using today are all Pebio and we've got cadmium yellow medium hue, um, iridescent green yellow and oriental violet, one of my favourites. So I'm just going to start layering these colours. Now as usual I haven't left them to stand <laughs> to get the bubbles out which I, we all know we're supposed to do but I haven't once again. <laughs> so there's my yellow so I've been just enjoying myself get my music on get some of these little bloom tiles done and then I thought oh no <laughs> I haven't done it on the spinner to show you guys how I do them so that's why I wanted to do these today this evening, it's, once again, it's very late. I always work late at night. And now my cell activator is Amsterdam Black Oxide and Flood Floatrol. The Australian Flood Floatrol, because there's no getting away with it. It's the best. It works better than anything I've found. I've tried and tried and tried. Still trying, but I haven't found the right thing yet but I'm still testing things. <laughs> so I'll bring that back to the centre because it's just sliding off a tiny bit. Just put it on the corners just to help it a little bit. Now, I've been using my little blower because for these little ones, it's just as easy to use the little blower. Finding the centre, tipping it out, And then the other way. So I'm just going to blow down a tiny bit into that centre where there's a lot of black. Now the ones I've been doing this evening, I have left a bit of white on the corners. That's why I really wanted to get those corners covered with the with the white. So, and I quite like the way they looked. So those colours looking lovely. So I'm gonna give it a quick spin. with that bit there mm, not sure about this one. no I'm not overly keen of this one I haven't got enough of the other colors coming through I'm just gonna give it a quick flip the colors over and start that one again it's not too keen of that very Halloweeny though. <laughs> Halloweeny, is that a word? Not sure. <laughs> so I just put a tiny bit of white 
back on there because we have got some um, plenty of white on. So back on with the colours and I'll do the yellow first. Then the green. I've got my colours a bit thicker because I find with the using the um, the spinner, it works better for me anyway if I have the colours a little bit thicker than if I'm tilting it. Let's get those bubbles out. Move it back across a tiny bit so it's in the centre. And then my cell activator. There. And my blower. That's looking a bit better. Yeah, that's looking a bit better. Got a few more colours coming through there. So we'll see what that one turns out like. A bit of spin. Let's tip it over that way a tiny bit. This looks lovely here. Turn it around a bit. See if we can just tip it a bit. Because the centre's quite loose, we're all right to tipping it. Right, give it another spin. spin it too much so because what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in and put some white back because I do want some negative space on this so because I don't like this area it's an ideal space to do that so scrape that off and just come in with a little bit of of the white Spin it a little bit to level it out. That's better. Yeah, I like that better. So, let me show you because it's difficult to see when it's in amongst all that over Seville paint. pretty I like that so I'm going to quickly do a set of four so I'll just scrape this off I'm going to put this one on my drying rack so I get my next tile I don't bother taping the back at this point because what I do is just I get a little bit of paint smudge it on the back like that so it sticks nicely to the the spinner so I do tape them when I'm resin them, but I don't tape them at this point. So put the white on. I'll just bring it out to the corners now, just to make sure we get those corners covered. yellow on the green see how thick it is 
quite a lot thicker than I would normally have it. And the purple. Quick torch. They're, they're so much quicker to do on the spinner. Because when you're um, tipping them, it's a real patience game. First of all, you've got to wait for the centre to come back up where you've blown it down. And then you've got to tip it and it gets very slow. But with on the spinner, it's so much quicker. I'll blow that out. Just blow into the, I blow into the, the center, get that little black part mixed up at the middle. Just blow straight down into it and it'll bring those little colors through. There, that's all I wanted to do. So I'll bring it this way a tiny bit, not much, and then spin. Ooh, that looks nice. I don't like that bit though. Another little spin. No, I don't like that bit. So I'm not going to get rid of the whole thing because I do like it. But I'm just going to scrape a little bit off there. And then come back in with some white. Because I do want the negative space. And then a little spin. That's better. Now I'm just going. <laughs> just going. <laughs> Story of my life. I'm just going. I want to get rid of that little white mark there. I'm going to pick some of this purple up and just dot it in there, like that, and then just give it a tiny bit of a spin. And that will do. So, let me show you this one. Those colours are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There. Is that one. So I'll go and put that on my drying rack. Let's touch up that little corner. Make sure I've got my corners covered in the white, which I have. I'll put that on my drying rack and I'll do the next one. Scrape the spinner off. Just put a little touch on there just to help it stick. A little press down and on to the next one. See, they don't take long at all, do they? white on, bring it out to the corners. So I've been asked to do by Jenny Griffiths a, and actually quite a lot of people, to do a resin video on how I resin my tiles and get them ready to make into coasters. So I'm going to be doing that over the next few days. So if that's something that will interest you, just um, watch out for that one, because I'll be getting that done very soon, as soon as I get a chance. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell notification, then you'll get notified when I do bring out more videos. And you'll see when I bring out the resin for the coasters one. Because it will be very soon I do that one. 
And thank you for all my subscribers that have already subscribed. I really do appreciate them. every subscriber I get. Bring that back to the centre a bit. And then on with my cell activator. And then my little blower. I love, love, love this little blower. I use it all the time. In fact, I think I'd better get another one because if this one does pack up for any reason, overuse, <laughs> I'll be lost without it. So I think I might have to get a spare in just in case. They're not very expensive. I get them off Amazon. Um, and I, I've got a link for Amazon. My The stuff I recommend in on Amazon, um, I've got a link underneath this video, which I'll put under the video, so so you won't, um, so you'll be able to find all the bits and pieces that I use. Yeah, I think that's fine. And we'll give it a spin. I'm not so keen. No, I'm not so keen on that one. I've put too much colour on for one thing. No, I just don't like it. I'm going to take it off because, take it all off rather than flip it over because then it's easier to get the white edges that I like or that I want for this, these particular ones anyway. So I'll scrape that off. Clean that tile off. And we'll go again with that one because I want it, I do want that negative space. So I'll just clean my hands off. So back on with the white, bring it over the corner so I've got that mess from the paint previous cover in it so I can get my negative space without having the old paint on it. Like that. Put a touch more in the centre. And then go what uh, yellow. I nearly said white. Yellow. So I put too much paint on last time, didn't I? So not as much this time. Green and purple on the top. Quick torch. Bring it back to the centre a little bit. And then the cell activator. And back in, back in with my little blower. Ooh, I'm getting my glove stuck in it. looking better better than the previous one so I'll give it a little spin and another yes that's much much better I'll give it a little spin yeah I think we're there so I'm just going to scrape this back. Get my, I'll, just, I'll use that one, it's a bit cleaner at least. Get that under there. This way you have to mind not to, not to drop it. There, that's better. Put a 
looks nice. So that's my third one. I do like to clean it up because the tiles are quite flat and you end up with a big pile of paint otherwise, which comes above the, um, the edge of the, the tile. So a little bit on the back there, stick it on and give it a little press down. So if you haven't already gone and had a look at my new blog that I've been writing articles for, it's called poorgreatart.com. Um, and I've got a few articles on there now. I'm adding more all the time. And I shall be adding the, when I do the resin on these tiles for, to make them into coasters, I'll be putting a blog post with that on there as well. Because sometimes it's easier just to have things written down it's easy to remember things. You can go back to them, can't you? So that's why I thought I'd do a blog post to go along with it. So if you fancy going checking that out. So yellow. See how quick these are to do. Super fun. I love doing them. Absolutely love doing them. My green. And just three colours makes it really, really simple. And purple. And I mix them. I've got a um, a video showing you how I mix my paints with for these blooms, and um, because I don't do it the typical way with all the um, varnishes and all that sort of stuff, I use Mod Podge, and it, for me, it works really, really well. So, because it does get a bit expensive, doesn't it, doing all these different techniques, and particularly this bloom recipe. So, I have got a video that shows you how I make it really, really simple. I do still use the Australian Flood Flow Troll, but for mixing the actual paints, I've got a, a very, very simple recipe. So, do check that out if you're interested. Blow a tiny bit into that centre. Just so it reveals the colours underneath. And then a quick spin. Um, I've better put a bit too much paint on again, haven't I? Well, I can always back in with the white I do like that but there's too much color on and I don't like that bit so that's a perfect place to put some white back in so what I'm going to do is break that back I just find it easy to get rid of this excess paint first and then Hmm, I might do both these corners. So, some on there. And some on there. Like that. And then give it another little spin. Not too much of a spin, because we don't want it to, to go flying off. But that's better. Yes, I like that much better. So I'm just going to clean this little palette knife so we don't transfer all those colours. Just need a little bit of white on there. You see a little bit of bare tile. There. That's nice. So. That looks 
nice. I like that. And there's that one. Super quick, super simple, but beautiful. So that was the ones I've just done. And these are the ones I did previous to those. And they look absolutely beautiful. Just so lovely. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you'll, you'll subscribe to my channel and like and comment and all that good stuff. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.